Beach Tennis Aruba and Fanatic players took over Eagle Beach this past weekend. Due to a new beach policy and regulations, the monthly tournament had been organized at Tropicana Beach Tennis Club. But for the first time in months, it was back on Eagle Beach and it was a tremendous turnout. More men play beach tennis than women on the island. Two brothers from Venezuela who are highly ranked on the professional level has been playing in every G4 Aruba has organized this year. Their skill set is on a higher level compared to the male players on the island. They see the G4 as a training. Um, actually, this, this uh, tournament is not like big important because right now we are not in a good level, so we are like top 20 in the world. So this is not making like a big uh, difference in our ranking, but it's good uh, like to be training uh, because like is uh, in the like the rest of the people, the rest of the top players, they are playing tournaments around the world. So we are really close to Venezuela, so it's really nice that like the beach and everything, the people is amazing. So it's really nice to come here, play some games, uh, meet some friends, and and like and just come and enjoy. Pedro is currently training children, women, and men at the Tropicana Beach Tennis Club on a daily basis. He says players from all over the world should watch out because the players from Aruba are progressing extremely quick. Yes, yes. Right now it's growing like really, really, like quick. And the thing is, like my friend Maria Boots, like have the the school over there, the Caribbean Beach Tennis School. is is uh, doing an amazing job over there. And yes, we have like a lot of levels right now. We have like almost 200 people. Uh, we have kids, we have uh, teenagers, and we have adults. And right now, like I'm really impressed. I'm been here for maybe like one month, and the the people right now is like improving their game like really really fast. So it's, it's, it's beautiful to come here and like to help a little bit in the island. The pros have a few words of advice to the male players on the island. Remember that practice makes perfect. Yes, I think that they need to train more, more class. Because if they not train, they're not going to get up. But they're playing always in the same. But to get up, need to train. For me, that's my personal opinion. There is a drastic difference between the men's game versus the women's. The men's are faster, more intense, and stronger. Meanwhile, the women have more rallies and more strategic placing is involved. Yeah, I'm thinking because the, the game of the men's is more stronger, more fast, and, and the, 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 the game of the girls is slow, more lobs. But more rally. Yeah, more rally. The, the points are more long. Pedro says tournaments like these are fantastic for everyone. It gives the players an opportunity to practice and play. Right now, this is like good for us because we're training for the world champion. So we take like a couple tournaments before to train. So we make like the change here because it's different, like train and, and be in a tournament. Doesn't matter how big is the tournament, but it's really nice because you, you put in, in like in the, in the game, the thing that you train. So right now, that's why we're playing here. Like we, we train for that uh, tournament. It's gonna be in Moscow in June and then we play in Cherbia in Italy. So yes, that's not our next tournament over there. I played in the tournament all weekend and I need to give a great big thank you to the Juggling Fish Swimwear Shop located at Playa Linda as well as TH Palm for believing in the sport and supporting the local athletes. They provided my beach tennis wear all weekend. I cannot thank them enough, so be sure to check them out.